it's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Three things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this special edition of Science Bowl. The two teams you're about to meet have won once already, and today's winner is going to move on to take on Glenarden Woods in the elementary school semifinals. Let's meet today's teams. First, from Hollywood Elementary School, please say hello to Tyler Carlson, Ambria Mills, and Daniel Enriquez. And from Perrywood Elementary, here's our team, Maya Harrison. Jalen Virgil and Juliana Woods. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty with the easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10 points, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece, no penalties ever for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds today, one of these two super teams will move on in our competition. Let's make sure everything works properly. Let's go to the red team. Ambria, try your buzzer for me. Seems to be in good shape. Good luck to you, Daniel and Tyler. And Jalen, would you try the green team buzzer? It too seems to be working. Good luck to you, Juliana and Maya. Are we ready? Yep. Let's do this thing. May the better team win. And congratulations on making it this far in the competition. You guys are great. We go alphabetically, H before P. So, Hollywood, let's start the bowl. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, plants like snake plants and peace lilies are good to have in your house because not only do they give you oxygen, they take these dangerous things out of the air. Um, Very good. Wait, dangerous things out of the air. Mm. Yes, sir. Um, carbon dioxide. Not carbon dioxide. Not necessarily here. Not in the context of this question. Yes, these plants in your house give out oxygen, but they also take these dangerous things out of the air that can compromise your health. What do you think? Smoke. Smoke. Uh, 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 not really. Pollutants is what we were looking for, air pollutants, even though smoke in some ways could be, but no, just the normal things inside the air. Try again, Rid. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, your question is as follows. They've discovered a new plant on the island of Madagascar. It is four feet high, and it smells like rotten flesh and feces and sour milk, all to better attract these. Hollywood? Meat eaters? Not meat eaters, no. Perrywood, that plant, that newly discovered Madagascar plant that smells so awful, smells as bad as it does because it wants to attract what? Pollinators, something to come and pollinate the, the plant. It's using all, it smells like maybe flies then would come and then take the pollen away. Try again, Red. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, even though our bodies are 90% water, if you're describing something that is very arid, you might say, boy, that's as dry as a what body part? Dry as a what? Periwood. Bone. Bone. Bones, that's right. It's as dry as a bone. Boy, Jalen, you got it from both sides. Maya and Juliana were giving you bone, bone, bone. Say it, man. All right, you got some points on the board. Go green. Signs potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points, teams. Every kid likes to do it, to make these air-filled spheres by blowing through a straw into their chocolate milk. What are you making? 
Hollywood? Bubbles. Bubbles, that's right. Go red. Dateline science for 10. Dateline science for 10 points. Team's fossil teeth have been found in Tennessee, of all places, of the red variety of this animal that is the star at the National Zoo. Hollywood. Panda. Panda, yeah. The red panda kind of looks like a raccoon, but it is related to that big black and white panda that is the darling of conservationists around the world. Wildlife lovers, go. Green. Super 8 for 5. Super 8 for 5 points. Teams, back in 1939, they made a movie that portrayed this feline, the para, a paragon of courage, as cowardly. Periwood. Lion. The lion, the cowardly lion in The Wizard of Oz. Don't hit me. Go green. Body systems for 5. Body systems for 5 points. Teams, when you sneeze or cough or gag, Momentarily, this stops in your body, which is probably why people say, God bless you. Periwood. Your heart. Your heart, yeah. Momentarily, you miss a beat. Good answer there. Thanks again to Juliana for an assist. Go green. Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, these are not made by shoes, but you can leave carbon ones of these based on the kinds of energy choices you make, Hollywood. Foot. A carbon foot. Help her out, guys. Come on, help her out. Judges, we need a little more, yeah? What's she trying to say? Periwood, can you help us out here? Even though they're not made by shoes, these that you make with carbon are based on the energy choices you have made. Footprints. Carbon footprints is what we were looking for. You came so close, Ambria. Nice try. You'll get them next time. Go green. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams in Beauty and the Beast. The Beast had to find true love before the last of these fell from a rose. Petals. The petals. Petals. A petal that before the last petal falls, he had to find true love. Go green. Dateline signs for five. Dateline for five points. Boy, this is upsetting. It turns out that this kind of food that we pay more for because it's grown with no antibiotics and no fertilizers is no more nutritionally beneficial than regular food. What kind of food do we pay more for in the store? Organic food. Organic was the right answer. Buzzer is rung. We've come to the first round, the end of the first round. It's 85 for Perrywood, 55 for Hollywood. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't go away. Hi, I'm Jordan Sparks, and my I Matter You campaign is all about making a difference, and SOS Children's Villages does just that. I cannot believe how many children SOS has helped around the world by building villages, helping abandoned children, and giving them a mother and house to grow up in. I'm calling on everyone that I know to support SOS in their efforts to help kids at risk of abandonment in countries like Sudan, Vietnam, and Haiti. SOS helps these children over the long term, and you can make a real difference in a child's life. M-A-D, making a difference. That's what it's all about, and SOS is one of the best. You've got to check them out at SOSUSA.org. SOS Children's Villages gives homes and hope to children in need all around the world. Join SOS and Jordan Sparks in making a difference. Visit SOSUSA.org to learn more. Welcome back to Science Bowl. Thank you for spending part of your day with us. We have two elementary schools here vying for the chance to move on in our competition. As we said at the top of the show, both these schools have won previously. Today's winner goes on to play Glen Arden Woods later on this season. Let's find out about these schools. If you missed them the first time around, Hollywood Elementary, Miss Caskey, 
The principal over there and the sponsor of your team, Ambria, is Mr. Hurtado. And uh, Tyler, you were an alternate, so who's the alternate now, or how many alternates do you have, Ambria? We have one alternate, and her name is Carol. All right, and she'll be out in just a few moments along with Mr. Hurtado. You told me earlier that Hollywood is a great school because everybody participates there. Everybody does their part, right? Yes. Yeah, what a great spot. And you're wearing matching shirts, where, and on the back it says everyone's a star at Hollywood with a name like that. You've got to be. Uh, what, uh, what's your favorite subject, Ambria? Math. Math, yeah. Math and science sometimes go together, and a lot of those skills come to, the, come to play here on Science Bowl. What do you want to do someday when you get older? I want to be a teacher and a model. Yeah, a teacher. What would you like to teach? Math. Math. All right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, Tyler, welcome to the show. You were an alternate before. Tell us the Tyler story. What do you do in your spare time? I usually like, like to play video games or play, or play with my cat. Ah, what's your cat's name? Milo. Oh, wow. How long have you had your cat? Eight years. Eight years. So he's part of the family, right? That's pretty nice. What do you want to do when you get older? Herp I want to be a herpetologist. Herpetologist. So you're interested in uh, reptiles, snakes? Yeah? Is it okay with your parents that you like snakes and li lizards and things? <laughs> that's all right. That's great. Whatever you like. I mean, that's, uh, we're happy that you're concerned, especially a science subject like that. Daniel, nice to have you here. Tell us about, uh, you told us once before about your coin collection because your uncle got you started on that. What else do you do in your spare time other than collect coins? Um, I'll go outside and play soccer. Yeah. Are you on a team? Yeah. What's the name of the team? College Park. College Park. That's very good. And why would you want to be on the Science Bowl? Um, because I get to get out of school early. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty, young man. Keep up your nice work in the second half here. Perry, what nice to have you back. Jalen, great captain over there. Miss Jones and Miss Shirey, the two co-sponsors of this great team. You've got matching shirts over there, as does the Hollywood team, and it says Science Bowl on there. Who designed those shirts for you? I did. Oh, wow, boy, you have the, you have the right touch. And your name is on the, the collar up there. And even the O in uh, um, bowl looks like in the atomic model. So, I mean, you really put a lot of effort into that. We appreciate that. You look good. Tell me about who the principal is down there at Perrywood. Miss Poole. All right. Out there rooting for you. And Maya was an alternate. Do you have some other alternates now? Um, right now it's Wesley. Wesley. Very good. We'll bring him out a little bit along with uh, Miss Shirey and Miss, uh, Miss Jones. Uh, tell me what you do in your spare time, Jalen. I play football. Yeah. You're with the Marlowe Hurricanes, right? Yeah. What position do you play? I play defense in and outside, outside linebacker. That's cool. And uh, someday, professionally, what are you going to do? I'd love, like to be a mechanical engineer. Mechanical engineer. So math and science go together with you as well. Maya, you haven't been here before. We don't know your story. Tell us what you want to do someday. I like to be an architect. Yeah. And would you design buildings or cars or what would you design? Well, I'll probably design buildings and cars. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you can specialize later on. Uh, do you like to look at houses and kind of imagine how they would be? You know, how your room would be? You have your own private swimming pool and kitchen maybe, you know, in addition to a bathroom. All these dream homes that we think about. I think that's great. What do you do in your spare time? I like to draw or read. Yeah, those are great. And drawing certainly goes along with being an architect because you're part engineer, part artist, uh, part mathematician. Uh, Juliana, uh, tell us about what you do in your spare time. Um, I like to read, and sometimes in the summer I go swimming with my brother. Yeah, Where do you swim? Um, at our community pool. Very nice. And why would you want to be on our show? Because I thought it would be a good opportunity to show how much I like science. And you're also showing us how much you know about science. You are awesome. You have been a great assist to Jalen thus far. And what do you see yourself doing someday? I would like to be a forensic chemist. Yeah. Go ahead. Mm, I would like to be a forensic chemist because I like to investigate and know what people are doing and make sure that um, we're safe. Absolutely, yes, because that uh, forensics implies a crime. So you're trying to get to the bottom of things that make life a little difficult or a lot difficult for the rest of us here. So I applaud you on that and uh, congratulate you. Let's get back to our game. Perrywood 85, Hollywood 55. Lots of points to give away. We're going to do better in the second half here, aren't we?
All right, let's pull up our socks here. Give it the old try here. It's time for the second round. Start us out, Jalen. Science potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Scientists agree that the edge of our atmosphere is 62 miles up. Beyond 62 miles, we're where? Jalen. In space. In space. That's where outer space starts at 62 miles. That's how to think. Good answer. Go. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical 10 points. One of the favorite experiments that kids do in elementary and middle schools is to make a sandwich bag bomb. You take a sandwich bag, you fill it halfway with baking soda, and then you pour in lots and lots of acetic acid, which is otherwise known as what condiment? Very good. Vinegar? Yeah, the more vinegar, the bigger the pop when you smash it. Absolutely right. Lots of foam all over the place. Your mom's not going to like you. Go, Jalen. Signs potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, there's a big bird in California called the California condor. It's endangered because it scavenges carcasses that have been shot by hunters that use bullets that contained what, what kind of dangerous chemical that we know is found, used to be found in paint and gasoline. Hollywood. Lead. Lead, absolutely right. Good. Red, go. Super Ray for 10. Super Ray for 10 points. Teams, we all know that a baby kangaroo is a joey. But a baby one of these diabolically named marsupials is called an imp. What marsupial am I talking about? What other Australian mammal? Diabolically named. A Tasmanian devil. All right, go again, Red. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, what is the T-initialed gland in your neck? that helps to regulate your body's metabolism and has a pair of glands on either side. They're known as the paraversions of these T in, this T-initialed gland. Periwood. The trachea? Good try, not trachea. What's the T-initialed gland in your neck that helps control your body's metabolism? Hollywood. Thyroid, thyroid gland was the answer there. Try again, Red. Let's get physical 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, the swimmers at the Olympics in London didn't have a single extra hair on their body because they were trying to reduce what force that is produced by friction. Very what? Gravity. Not gravity, no. By having no hair on their body, by removing all that hair, they were reducing what force that is produced by friction. Come on, Hollywood. Speed. Why? What's that? Speed. Drag. Drag. Something that drags, pulls back, is going to slow them down. Try again, Red. Super Raid for 15. Super Raid for 15 points. Teams, it was back in 1669 that a Dutch scientist first described this term, which is the sequence of life stages that an insect goes through from egg to adult. What's that called? Come on, Hollywood. Life cycle. No, I need another name for that. What's, that name? What's the term to describe the different life stages of an insect from egg to adult? Come on, Dan and Tyler, you've got to help her out. She can't do it on her own. Perry, what can you give us that term? It, um, it, uh, Come on, ladies, help him. Mm, mm. Poor guy's trying to say metamorphosis, metamorphosis. That's the answer. Go, go red. Dateline science for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Look at the monitor in the studio, please, for this question. Teams back in 1896, the U.S. Congress passed a law protecting birds like these Carolina parakeets from being shot, not because people wanted to eat them, it's because they wanted to get these. Periwood? Their feathers? Their feathers, yeah. They used their feathers to put in ladies' hats. Those birds are now extinct. You'll never see another live Carolina parakeet. They were hunted to extinction. Go green. Science potpourri for 20. Science potpourri for 20. Did we add the points to Perrywood that time? We did, okay. And we're at science potpourri for 20, yes? All right, teams. What same O-initialed word describes the different lenses on a microscope and the aim of an experiment? Jaylen. The objective? Absolutely right. The objectives, the high and low power objectives, and the objective or the aim of an experiment. Nicely done. Go. Green. 
Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Look at the monitor in the studio again, please. Teams, these cactus don't have leaves, they have thorns. Their thorns are their leaves. But these thorns, they can't perform photosynthesis. They can't make the food. But the cactus lives because what other part of the plant is green and photosynthesizes. Ambria? The stem. The stem, absolutely right. The stem or the trunk. Okay, you're coming back. Go red. Dateline science for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, they've discovered a new disease in Missouri that is carried by what same arthropod that carries Rocky Mountain spotted fever and Lyme disease? What same arthropod now is carrying this new disease, Jalen? Spider. Not a spider. Good try. Rocky Mountain spotted fever and Lyme disease is spread by, carried by what arthropod, Hollywood? Mosquito. Ticks. Ticks. Try again, red. Let's get physical 20. Let's get physical 20 points. Teams have discovered a new alien planet and have given it the name Tatooine because just like the planet in Star Wars, this new planet has not one, but two what's? Perrywood? Moons. Not moons. Good try. Hollywood? Tatooine Sun. has Sun. two what's? Sons. Sons is right. Yeah, good comeback. Thanks, Tyler. All right, that takes you up to the century mark. You're up to 110, 140. It's getting a little closer. Tough questions left. Go, Ambria. Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20 points. Teams, these are some big words, but don't get thrown. It's a simple answer. To entomologists, they are lepidopterans. To, to many of us, these invertebrates are flying flowers. What is it that you would call a flying flower? Remember, zoo prey. It's an animal. A flying flower. Periwood. A butterfly? That's exactly right. A butterfly is described as a flying flower. And entomology is the study of insects. Thanks for putting those clues together. Go green. Body systems for 20. Body systems, 20 points. Teams, back in 1939, famed African-American scientist Charles Drew came up with a way to preserve this liquid portion of the blood. What P initial term describes the liquid portion of your blood that can be preserved? That's the plasma. The plasma. Try again green. Science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25. Big one in that category, teams, this past summer. Everywhere you went, bang, mosquitoes everywhere. And not, are they, not only do they produce nasty, itchy bumps, they're producing a terrible illness called W. Oops. Hollywood. West Nile. West Nile it is. West Nile virus for 25 points. Absolutely right. Go red. Let's get physical 25. Let's get physical for 25 points. The first liquid rocket fuel made back in 1926 by Robert Goddard was a mix of gasoline and this second most abundant gas in the atmosphere. What is it, Perry Wood? Nitrogen. Not nitrogen, good try. Second most abundant gas in the atmosphere mixed with gasoline to make the first rocket fuel. Hollywood? Oil. Oxygen. Oxygen was the second most abundant gas. Four questions left. Pick red. Zoo Parade 25. Zoo Parade for 25 points. Teams, whoa, whoa, this sounds pretty nasty. They have a dog in California that's like a bloodhound, but he's not after blood. This chocolate lab is trained to detect orca scat. Translate that. What is orca scat that he's trying to smell? Specific. What is orca scat? Hollywood. Um. A whale shark poop. Say it again, please. Be clear so we can hear what you're saying. A whale shark's poop. A whale shark's poop. No, no. Perrywood, this chocolate lab is being trained to detect orca scat. What is he trying to smell? Excre excrement. Excrement. More information, please. Poop. I need more. You're only the giving waste. me partial. The waste of digestive system of an orca whale? Judges? Yes, they're going to give that to you. All right, it is not, it is not a whale shark.
it is a killer whale or an orca whale. All right, Perry Wood, go. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 25, big one in that category. Big words, again, simple answer. Listen carefully. If someone gets a DXA test, a dual axial absorptiometry test, it is to find out the bone mineral density of your bones. Because if it's too low, you, especially if you're an older woman, can suffer from this O initial disease. What is that O initial disease that is about weak bones? Osteoporosis is the correct answer. Try again, Green. Oh, the buzzer has rung. That means our game is over. It looks like Perry Wood has outlasted Hollywood and will return to play Glen Arden Woods. We'll be back in just a moment. Don't go away. Hello? Hello? I've been on the street for a while. I've been on the street for a while. I saw your poster outside. I saw your poster outside. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. National Runaway Switchboard, how can I help? Call 1 800 Runaway to make the connection. Play might be the best way to fight obesity. Because staying connected makes my family stronger, healthier, and happier. Because a safe place after school can lead to success in school. Because physical activity is vital to my health and well-being. Because I need to make my world better. Because playing team sports teaches the character and social skills that build leaders. Because learning with others makes for a greater understanding. Because we need each other. Because we need each other. Because we need each other. the Science Bowl. Some tough questions today, but equally tough competitors, and we're proud of all of our players. It's tough when you're in elementary school and these tough questions come your way, but they acquitted themselves beautifully. Our final tally today is Hollywood 135, Perrywood 185. Guys, let's see some smiles over there. You're headed to the semifinals against Glen Arden Woods. Juliana and Jalen and Maya, congratulations. Wesley, I know you're proud of the team. Miss Jones and Miss Shirey, congratulations. We're going to see you in an accustomed place in our competition. Hollywood, you gave it the good try. Tyler, thanks for coming out and being part of the team this time. And Carol, congratulations to you, to Ambria, and to Daniel. And Mr. Hurtado, thanks for being part of our game again. And we appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you next time on the Science Bowl. Bye-bye.